What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Shout out to the brother, Corey Holcomb. Um, I haven't had a chance to really catch him as of late. I've been dealing with these mosquitoes out here in Africa. Um, been out here just dusting it up, family. But he was under the weather um, last show. So he didn't really give us the, the full show because he was feeling sick. But still, nonetheless, he dropped some knowledge in which I want to share. Because when I talk about Corey Holcomb, usually I really deal with some of the deep things he talks about. People look for the viral moments and the viral clips of him roasting, but he actually drops a lot of great information that you can learn from. Almost every show, every black person can learn something from listening to Corey Holcomb, all right? And that's why I have so much respect for our brother and even brothers like Tariq, right? A lot of respect. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this, <laughs> even brothers like Boyce Black to a certain degree. Because what they're going to prove to you time and time again is that you can make it with your own people and you don't need to do something weird to be successful. You ain't got to be a hater. You ain't got to be a uh, 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 bringing down nobody. You ain't got to be doing nothing else. Okay? You don't have to do that. So let's talk about the Hollywood thing. Corey Holcomb has always talked about Hollywood and what so many people are willing to do to get into Hollywood to get... First of all, their cheeks clapped. And also, what they can get as a result. I want to play this. This is very impactful. I'm going to come back. I think Hollywood is a old model. Yeah. Too many people are getting things done without Hollywood now. Hollywood is trying to catch up to the new people. Hollywood has decided to grab untalented people and use their muscle and put them in front of America. Like, it's bad. Like, <laughs> what's a television show that's popping now? I'm talking about on a major network. Like one, NBC, that I like, one that ABC. I like is Abbott Elementary. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. I like that one. I'm glad you said that. I know some people who work on that show. Mm -hmm. well, I'm it's, sorry. It's, it's, I'm sorry. I don't know people who work on that show. I've heard about people who work on that okay. show. They're getting fucked financially. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Write your check and stick it in his ass. That's fucked up. Oh, fuck no. the, check. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make, Hollywood ain't even paying what they used to pay no more. Hollywood is an old model. They will take somebody like, I'm just being honest. They will take somebody like a little rail, put them in front of the people, and these people actually think that they're stars. You're not even making no real money like that. You know, Hollywood is not what we aspire to be in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Hollywood is, okay, even though this is a big time network, we're gonna pay you like this is a small time network because we found out we don't have to pay you nothing to do it. You want to do it, we're gonna put you in it. Right. Like there was a time when movie stars used to make so much money. Oh yeah. Yeah. But then they also they got can retire in. after about five movies. But then That's they also got shit. but then they also got locked into these those those contracts from a lot of those companies too. I don't know how far back you're going. They want so you to do <laughs> ten movie contracts for some money. And if you really get some good money. That's good. Yeah. If you get some good money, that's good. But the way you gonna be portrayed is, I I have really come to the realization that I have to create my own Hollywood. There's no Hollywood for me. There's no way I'm gonna be auditioning and hoping that some company give me a deal or yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna have to create my own shit. And then if they wanna come to the bargaining table later on, if it's enough money, well, I could just retire and get the fuck out of the, the bullshit, yeah. you know? That's what I do. He talks about people who will do anything to get onto the platforms of Hollywood. He mentioned one person by name. That person was Little Rail, 
a person that I had even no, no idea that existed until he mentioned Corey Holcomb on Shannon Sharps, and that was a big deal. I, I had no idea who this person was. And, and to be honest, it didn't matter. But Corey Holcomb has always talked about how this guy can't sell out shows. All right? The guy can't sell out shows. But here's something that's very interesting that I want to discuss. Okay? Listen to this. The guy can't sell out shows, as we all know. But they're not getting paid that much money. You have guys who are trying to get on Hollywood, getting paid little money, and it's not like it was before. Want to know who's making the most money? Want to know who can do the most things? A guy like a Tariq. A guy like a Corey Hogan. I sat here. I saw Tariq Nasheed do something I have never seen anybody else do. I, I barely could even see Spike Lee doing it. Tariq Nasheed raised $2 million organically. I've never seen anybody even come close in like a 90-day period, right? It was, so, it was so amazing. Us as content creators felt like we should start making videos to get him or people to help donate money. Why we should. It was incredible. To see Corey Holcomb go to places like Fort Wayne, Indiana and sell out. That's the, you know, you might call it the chitlin circuit, but what I see is a guy who controls his own destiny, writes his own check, monetizes his own brand, and I'm about to give me some 5150 stuff out here you gotta play, you just watch. That, that's, 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 that's crazy. To imagine he can do that, but why? Let me tell you, because that's the power of what you can do when people you like that. And as the black community, we have been doing that. We've been trying to get on to somebody else's landscape when we got our own landscape, we can put our, our cell phone. Like this is what Corey Holcomb's content is really about and y'all don't even listen to that part. Like that's the sad part. If anybody listens to Corey Holcomb and you are not inspired to get out and do your own thing with your own group and see the potential that we have as a community, you, you have been like, you have not been learning anything from 5150 show. Like you have not learned nothing. This man sells his own merch. He sells out his shows. He's created opportunities for himself. And to be honest, if he really wanted to make more money on this thing, he could. His audience is crazy. Imagine Corey Holcomb doing reactions or something crazy like that. Corey Holcomb could be getting $120,000 a month on here if he wanted to. He would blow us out the water. No doubt about it. We wouldn't have a chance if he, if he really wanted to do it. Because that's how much market we got. Why do you think Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp is over here? Because the black sector is how you can write your own ticket. We're just now figuring it out. But then going to Hollywood, you have the Hollywood guys. Ain't no more Hollywood or entertainment industry guys more than Stephen A. Smith, is it? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. But this is what these guys are doing and doing it very well. So guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again? With another episode of the Celebrity Jump. Appreciate you for all you just heard the bell. We're out.